Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So the biggest news of the 2070 NBA draft that shook the whole entire NBA community was Jimmy Butler getting traded to the Minnesota Timberwolves for uh, Zach Levine, uh, Chris Dunn, and the number seven overall draft pick. So yeah, man, this trade, man, like, when this happened, this, I didn't even know this was gonna happen, man. Like, I was just sitting there, also, I, all of a sudden, I got like the woge bomb on Twitter about this happening, man, and just Twitter just blew up, guys. Um, I absolutely love what this team was looking like here with Jimmy Buckets. Like, I feel like he's just like the optimal, you know, bestest, goodest player for this team right here, man. So for this video, we are going to be doing a two-season rebuild um, to see if we can bring the Timberwolves a championship in two seasons. If you guys do me a quick here, man, um, if you want, if you want more of these off-season rebuilds, uh, be sure to drop a like on this video, man. It really helps me know that you are enjoying this type of content. So yeah, guys, Jimmy Buckets. The reason I love this trade so much is because for one zach levine uh, just had an acl injury we don't know how he is going to return man we don't know how he's going to do out there um another reason is that um chris dunn did not have a great rookie season so it's like he's a big question mark and also the number seven draft pick it's like i would have thought jonathan isaac was a nice fit for this team that's who i'm hoping they would have got but i think the orlando magic uh drafted jonathan isaac ahead of that anyway so who knows who the uh, Timberwolves would have got stuck with but yeah man this team is definitely a playoff looking team if you ask me we got carl anthony towns out there um, I think these two are going to, uh, you know, just feed nicely off each other. You got Andrew Wiggins, who last season, man, what was his scoring average? Um, okay, I guess we're not going to have the uh, 2016 stats here. But, yeah, man, he uh, he definitely a baller out there, though. Because, like, that's the thing, man. This is 2K17, so it is hard to really get all the stats up there. Because um, there's only so much you can do with the game, right? So we're going to do our best with this guy, though, guys. We're going to do our best with it. And we got Ricky Rubio, man. Um, there is thoughts or talks of Ricky Rubio being on the trade block. Personally, man, I don't know why you would trade this man. I feel like having a uh, kind of a pass-first point guard with all these different offensive weapons out here would work very nicely. I mean, I guess at the same time, you know, Jimmy Buckets um, is kind of a ball-dominant guard. I mean, he can play off ball. He's definitely capable of doing it. But at the same time, it's like, you know, put the ball in Rubio's hands, and he's going to get all these guys good looks out there. So I don't really know, man. Um, I, might, I might look to shop him. I might keep it for the first season. And uh, if he doesn't do well, then we'll trade him, you know, in the offseason here. You got Shabazz Muhammad, uh, good contract, only $3 million. You got Gorgu Diang, who, uh, that's a bitch-ass contract, man, let's be honest. But I'm not just going to give him away for nothing. If anything, I'll make him be back a power forward, I'm thinking. I mean, he at least got a midi out there. So, um, not really, he doesn't really got a three-point shot. Ideally, I'd like to stretch forward that position. At the same time, we can also put Carl Anthony Towns at power forward. Uh, but I kind of like him at the center position himself. Tyus Jones, good backup point guard. Amari Caspi. I mean, he's a solid veteran. He got this Nemanja Bajelica, I think his name is. He can shoot. Justin Patton. Uh, this was actually their draft pick right here. Um, it says undrafted, but of course, man, that's because, like I said, 2K17. But yeah, he's a 6'11 center. Um, I think he'll be a good player. I don't know too much about him if he's from Creighton, but, I mean, he looks like just your basic bitch center, which is fine. You know, there's still room for those type of players in the NBA. Adrian Payne, you got Jordan Hill and the rest of the crowd out here. Um... I'm gonna take some. I'm gonna take some uh, quick looks out here, man. For you know, what, if we what we could get for like a Ricky Rubio and maybe a Dang out there together, probably not too much because that's a lot of money thrown at one team. So we're gonna see what we can get for him though. See what the market says, and uh, we'll go from there, guys. So Dario, sorry, TJ McConnell. I mean that right there is already pretty nice, but not really feeling it all that much. You get Zach Levine back and Rajon Rondo. No, not gonna do that. DeAndre Jordan. I mean he's just always cheap on this game. Dennis Schroeder, man. That's, that's not bad. Dennis Schroeder is actually a pretty decent point guard, but I don't want bitch-ass Plumlee's contract. It's not white side. I know everybody's going to say, you should have got Sean Whiteside. I mean, the Heat would never do this trade, guys. It's just 2K, me and 2K. They would never do that trade. Ru uh, Rudy Gay, Willie Cauley-Stein, Brooke Lopez, Harrison Barnes, Spencer Dinwiddie. Okay, so nothing I really like. That's not horrible. I, I might do this trade, guys. I might do this trade for the sense that Thaddeus Young would be a pretty good stretch four for this team. Um, and also Jeff Teague, I mean, he's just a good all-around point guard. Like, he can shoot out there, too. You know, he can play. Damn, he got a 9-2 mid-range shot, and he can make the three ball. It's like he can play off Jimmy Buckets or vice versa, man. That might be the move, guys. That might be the move right there. Andre Drummond, that would be nice. Sergi Baca, Eric Gorn, Tony Parker. No, man, I I'm, liking, I'm liking the deal of Jeff Teague and Thaddeus Young. Plus, Thaddeus Young, um, he's got a three-point shot so we can stretch the floor. He would fit in nice with this athletic-esque team out here. Um, can kind of make the mid-range shot, not great at it, but, only, you know, he's only 6'8", but in small, in the small ball world, that's a good height, man, so I'm absolutely loving this trade, and not to mention, like I said, man, they are both expiring deals, so that's good for us rebuild-wise, it's like, we can either resign these guys, which I'll probably bring back Jeff uh, T, we'll see how Thaddeus Young plays alongside these other guys out there, or we could just not, so let's go ahead, man, do this trade, absolutely loving it, um, but yeah, man, well, let me know in the comment section below, guys, who do you think would be a good player to put alongside Carl Anthony Towns? I like the idea of Thaddeus Young. I, I don't hate this trade right here whatsoever. 
So now we have Jeff Teague, Jimmy Buckets, Andrew Wiggins, Thaddeus Young, Carl Anthony Towns. Our bench is looking pretty nice from Shabazz, Muhammad, Tyus Jones. You know, give us some scoring right there. Cole Aldridge, I mean, basic bitch. Center, he'll get the job done. We got Bajelica here that can still shoot. And, uh, you know, we still got Justin Payne. I kind of want to give him some minutes. Maybe, uh, I'm not, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to test him out over Cole Aldridge. See what this man is capable of, man. You, like, you got to give the Young Bloods rookies out there. And as a Piston fan, I definitely preach that because bitch-ass Stan Van Gundy never gives my Pistons. You know, Henry Ellenson, I'm sure the man uh, Luke Kennard ain't going to play either. So, I don't know. We'll see, though. Hopefully, they do. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm good with that right there. Give him 36 a game. I'm going to get you about 39. Thaddy is 27. That's good. Jeff T got 30 minutes a game. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead, man, simulate this first season, see how this team does. I'm absolutely loving the look of this team. Um, if this team is not a playoff team, then 2K is absolutely broken because this, I'm thinking, man, probably, I'm thinking forward to see with this team potentially. Maybe not right away, but definitely the second season. So let's simulate the season, see how good this team will do. Well, great news for you, Minnesota Timberwolves fans. This team just finished third in the Western Conference, 49-32. Uh, and 32. We got one more game against the Houston Rockets. Somewhat of a big game because we might actually fall down to the fourth seed here. So simulate through date right here. And, well, we take the W, man. 121-93. Uh, MVP Russell Westbrook yet again Lonzo Ball rookie of the year on the Los Angeles Lakers damn dude 17 points 7 rebounds 10 assists for the man damn big ball of brain gonna be freaking eating if you put up those kind of numbers guys uh Jeremy Lin six man that's not white side defensive player Nikola Jokic most improved once again I mean he's just always a beast so I don't really understand that but it's all good uh we got all these players on NBA first team all NBA second probably no uh T-Wolves up here maybe we'll get Jimmy Buckets nope not on there all right it's all good um, damn, we don't even make the defensive team? All right, whatever, whatever, dude, whatever. Um, all right, guys, so player stats here. We got uh, Jimmy Buckets averaging, you know, about 23, 24 points per game, six rebounds, six assists, two steals. Uh, just always been, like, notorious for, getting, for putting up good all-around numbers. Carl Anthony Towns at 19 points, 12 rebounds. I do imagine the score would go down a little bit, you know, when you bring in a big-time score like Jimmy Buckets. I mean, Andrew Wiggins is going to get his, too, who uh, got himself 16 points and four rebounds and two assists. Uh, Jeff Teague played the point guard position very nicely. I absolutely would love Jeff Teague on this team, guys. I think it's a perfect fit. Uh, Shabazz and Thaddeus Young both went up pretty good numbers right there, too. We got Justin Patton at 7 points, 5 rebounds, so and 2 blocks. I think like, if he can protect that rim, uh, that'd be big time for the uh, Timberwolves out there. So that's what the rest of the stats are looking like. First round of the playoffs, we do have the Denver Nuggets, who have uh, Nikola Jokic. I don't remember who they drafted, but let me check real quick. And now I'm just kind of curious. Who do the Denver Nuggets have, man? They got, they got, they got, uh, they drafted, do they have a draft pick? Okay, they got Trey Lyles. Okay, that's right. They, they, they traded, I think it was like Donovan Mitchell or somebody like that to the Jazz. So that makes more sense. All right, simulate current round, see how this goes. And, uh oh, okay, we beat them four games to zero. Close out game. Andrew Wiggins dropping 19 points, 17, 14, and five for Carlton Anthony Towns. Tyus Jones beasting off the bench. Uh, Jimmy Buckets kind of struggled shooting wise, but still got seven assists, which is big time. Uh, Jeff Teague, 10, 4, and 9. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, now we got the second seed, uh, Houston Rockets. I don't think we're ready to get past them quite yet, but we'll see. Simulate current round. Oh, oh let's go! We fucking won seven games! Let's go, baby! Oh, my God, dude! <laughs> All right, man. Yo, closeout game playing clutch out there, man. Jimmy Buckets, 29 and 8. Three steals, 20 for Andrew Wiggins. That's what I'm talking about, man. Winning the big-time games out there. All right. Oh, my God. Here we go. We got bitch-ass Warriors. Simulate current rounds. Oh, my God. Fucking still got a game seven at least. I'm always going to see Warriors, man. I swear to God, man. I'm not dealing with another year of 2K of the bitch-ass Warriors winning this shit all the time, man. I mean, oh, my God. Warriors and Cavs once again. Freaking. Oh, my God. Same old shit being served up, man. Every freaking season. I'm, I'm sick of it. I want something new. But lucky for us, it was only the first season. So... Uh, we'll see how we do out here, man, for the second season this time around. I mean, I'm happy we made it to the Western Conference Finals. Took the Warriors to the seven-game series. I'm pretty sure the Minnesota Timberwolves fans would be uh, decently happy with that result. So, let's get to this, my friends. We have, um, like I said, we'll go to league meetings first. Make sure, like, nothing crazy happens here. Okay, all that stuff's rejected. We got draft lottery. Uh, we're not going to have a good draft because we were in the Western Conference Finals, which is fine. I mean, I'm fine with that. Staff signing. Let's make sure we get uh, Tibbs back. Um, all right, so we still got him from one season. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to skip out on the NBA draft. Like I said, man, our team did pretty damn good out there. So no really, no real point in doing that. Um, so hopefully, man, like we still got somebody decent out there. Who we get? Mitchell Robinson, uh, 26 pick, 71 overall player, actually. He is a center from Western Kentucky. Um, I'm actually good with that pickup right there. All right, yeah, looks at man. Pick number 26. 
Uh, I know we got the boy uh, Justin Patton out here, but it's like, I'm still going to take him on the team. We'll let those guys, you know, duke it out for some minutes out there. Team player options, going to accept that, accept that. Cole Aldridge, um, eh, I don't really want to bring him back. Not for those $7 million. Patton will be just fine out there. We got Thaddeus Young, we had a player option. I'm, I'm honestly, guys, fine with bringing him back. I know it's $14 million. I'm going to see what's out here in the uh, free agent streets. So, like, worst case scenario, I will trade Thaddeus Young if I find a better option. But, uh, you know, we got Andrew Wiggins, Shabazz. Uh, I'll bring him back, too. Adrian Payne, my free agents. We should be able to get Andrew Wiggins back, guys. We should be able to get him back there. So, we're fine there. Okay, free agency. Let's see what we got out here, man. Make sure we don't got no bird rights out. So, Andrew Wiggins, Amari Casper, he can walk. Shabazz. Uh, should we be able to get all these guys back, honestly, guys, for, like, the qualifying offers? All right. So, point guard-wise. Ooh, man. Duh, we get Isaiah Thomas. Oh, my God. I, I got to throw him a max contract. I'm obviously going to do it, guys. Right? I'm obviously going to do it. Oh, my God. If we can get Isaiah Thomas, like, I will trade Jeff Teague in a heartbeat. Please believe, man. Who else we got out here? Uh, We got power forward-wise. It's like, yeah, Thaddeus Young is fine. I mean, maybe a Serge Ibaka. I'll throw him a contract. He actually be a nice little fit out there as a stretch four. I uh, can also play some defense. So I'll give him a lot of money there. LaMarcus, I know he's looking for a new team. I mean, it would, bring, it would bring another veteran presence to our team right here. He is 33, but it is a rebuild. So, you know, man, we got to try whatever we can. I'm going to throw him a lot of money, guys. Uh, just because I, I feel like he would be a nice fit alongside Carl Anthony Towns. That's so much money. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I'm doing it. Blowing a hole in my pocket. Jabari, I know he's restricted, so we're probably not going to be able to get him. But it's all good. Um, backup center, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I guess, you know what? realistically man realistically speaking i could see uh, demarcus cousins leaving the pelicans sometime uh sometime down the road so joel lee i don't think he would leave the uh 76ers i could see this honestly happening guys if, he, if things don't work out alongside uh anthony davis so i'm gonna throw him a contract just for that reason i could definitely see it happening all right what offers we got oh my oh my god demarcus boogie cousins boogie your bitch ass over here man god damn oh my god that money made us a championship team guys I, th I think we low-key just built a super team. I think we just built a super team. Now, I'm going to go ahead, guys, simulate the rest of the offseason right here. And uh, just, I want to make sure we get Wiggins back, so I'll be back, back in one second, guys. Okay, so the New York Knicks did try to get Andrew Wiggins from us, so I did have to match his contract of about $70 million. I mean, he's a superstar. He's going to be a superstar, guys. If not an all-star player, he's only 23. I thought it was worth the investment, so I brought Wiggins back on this team. Um, Of course, we got a boogie now, so I'm thinking... Do I want Boogie or Carl Anthony Towns at power four? I, you know, it looks like uh, Carl was a bit of a better of a shooter, so I might go with that. Who's a better shot blocker? I guess that's what we should, we should go by, um, because like we want our best defender in the paint. Both got great rebounding numbers, so that's a like, toss up right there. Uh, block wise, I mean it's still pretty damn close too. So I guess I'll make Carl Anthony Towns the uh, power forward. So we'll go with that. Goes from nine three overall. We got Jimmy buckets, Andrew Wiggins, Thaddeus Young out here still. Um, yo man, what 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 else? Jeff Teague. Oh, my God, guys. I thought I got Jeff Teague back. Where's he at? I could have swore he wasn't a free agent. I checked, man. It's all good. We don't really need him anyway, man. Uh, we'll, we'll, make, we'll make a trade. We'll make a trade. Try to get a better point guard. I could have swore I saw a Jeff Teague bitch ass out here, man. God damn it, dude. Oh, well. It's all good. Advance next season. We'll uh, we'll make a trade. I still got that. He's young. I can dangle. Or Shabazz. Um, I could have swore, man, I had Jeff Teague. I could have swore he was signed up for another season. Whatever. Whatever, 2K. Get some basic bitches real quick. Uh, I got to make some trades now, I guess. Let's go to... Uh, let me turn trades back on here real quick. I'll I, I turn them off when I do simulations just because, like, makes the game really slow. Uh, let's go to Trade Finder. I'm, I'm thinking Shabazz and Thaddeus. Put those two guys out there. Damn, dude. I mean, Tyus Jones, 76 overall. He's not, like, the worst player. No, tra Oh, we got... Oh, damn. So, no trade clause on uh, him. All right. Let me do you and Spencer Dinwiddie. And I'm going to toss in the first round draft pick. Hopefully, man, it gives us something good out here. Please, 2K. Please, man. I'll take Jeff Teague back even. Jamal Crawford, Derek Favors, Buddy Heel, Tyreek. That's not... I'm kind of liking that, man. Larry Nance, backup power forward. Jordan Clarkson could be the point guard of this team right here. Uh, that's probably my go-to so far. Dennis Smith. Ooh, Dennis Smith. Give us a good young point guard out there. Uh, there's Drew, Drew Holiday. Nice fit also. Definitely got some great offers out here. I think I'm kind of liking the idea of uh, Jordan, uh, Jordan Clarkson. I feel like he would fit nicely with this team. A. Larry Nance Jr.'s athleticism off the bench would be big time. Oh, uh, yeah, guys, let me go with this trade. I'm going to go with Larry Nance and Jordan Clarkson. I know there was a lot of great offers, but this one just kind of it, it feels realistic to me, man. So we are going to put Jordan Clarkson at the point guard position, and he's already there, uh, actually. So we're good with that. 
Gives us a nice player that could run this team. Uh, we got Jimmy Buckets, Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns. We got Demarcus Cousins. Our bench is looking on point, guys. Um, we got Larry Nance as a six man now, so he's a seven nine overall player. Um, yeah, I'm thinking our team is definitely better than last season, especially because we got Demarcus and Carl Anthony Towns with Wiggins and Jimmy Buckets. Low key, man, this is a super team. If we don't beat the bitch ass Warriors, this game is absolutely broken, man. I'm gonna go ahead and simulate this season. We're gonna see just how good this new look super team, Timberwolves team, can really do. We did it, guys. 63 and 80, man. First place in the Western Conference over the bitch ass Warriors, man. Even if we lose this game right here, it does not matter. We'll still be good to go. So simulate through date and take the W, man. 64 wins for this Timberwolves team. They definitely deserve it, guys. They've gone through so much the past few seasons as far as losing. Um, LeBron James MVP. We got Michael Porter Jr., rookie of the year on the my Detroit Pistons. Yeah, let's go, baby. I'll take that. That means they're going to be bad again this year, though. Well, which is probably the case anyway. Paul Gasol, six man. Sound boy said defensive player Frank uh, Nilakina said it right. Most improved on the New York Knicks. There you go, Knicks fans. You got something to look forward to. And Tom Thibodeau, your coach of the year, man. Um, we got Demarcus Cousins, All NBA first team, All NBA second team. We got uh, no T Wolves there. And okay, so I don't see Carl Anthony Towns took a step back with having some, uh, you know, a little bit more competition in the paint there. But let's check out these player stats here real quick. We got Demarcus at about 20 points and about 12 rebounds a game with six assists, one steal, and two blocks. That's looking like MVP numbers if you ask me. Uh, Jimmy Buckets also uh, dropping 19 points, six rebounds, six assists out there, 2.4 steals. Anthony Towns 17 and 11. We got Andrew Wiggins 14. Oh my God, guys, this team is so good. This team is fantastic, man. Like this is probably one of the best teams I've ever built, like in my entire life, man. My entire bitch ass life. I'm just saying, man. I'm absolutely loving what the squad's looking like out here. First round of the playoffs, we do have the Houston Rockets. I imagine we'll beat them. Uh, we got to make it to the finals. We got to do it. Simulate. Current round, man. Come on, baby. Come on, man. No, 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 no. What the fuck? I fucking swept? Are you fucking swept? Same fucking game. Same fucking bullshit. God damn it, dude. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? You mean to tell me this bitch-ass team right here, man? You mean to tell me this bitch-ass team? I understand it's the Houston Rockets. I understand James Hart's MVP caliber player. But, god damn, you ain't gonna beat down this team? And, like, how you gonna sweep on four games to zero? Oh, my God, dude. This is the shit that pisses me off. This is why it's fucking hard to play this shit sometimes. I put my heart and soul into this team. And by that, I mean, I know I... I don't even know, man. Simply the goddamn playoffs. How you gonna... There ain't no way in hell this team... I understand, man, it's upsets happen in the playoffs. Oh, my God. There we go with the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors. I cannot believe this bullshit, guys. Let me show you all the playoff stats just so you guys can see that. I cannot believe this, man. There ain't no way in hell this team's getting swept. I ain't no way in hell, man. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Be sure to drop the like on this video if you want some more rebuilds. Let me know in the comment section below what other rebuilds you guys want to see. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go drink some uh, bleach. And peace out, my friend.